Good morning and welcome to Siem Reap, Cambodia. It's down at the river slash creek. It's not much of a river at the moment. A lot of it's very, very low. Lots of algae in there and weed. Just to talk about the uh, coronavirus uh, or COVID-19. It's now been upgraded to a pandemic. This doesn't mean much more in traveling. A lot of countries have started closing borders, um, doing a lot more checks, and that's a great thing. More checks, uh, a lot more uh, cleaning stations, there's a lot more hand sanitizers, there's a lot more people wearing masks, but I do strongly recommend only wear a mask if you're sick. Because uh, with a mask, you're putting it on and off, so your hands are touching your face, potentially. The whole, the whole thing of keeping a virus out of your system is to keep it away from your eyes, nose, and mouth. So if you're putting a mask on and off, you're touching things, you're touching the mask, touching things, eventually you're going to touch your face, touch your eyes, touch your nose, touch your mouth. So get in the habit of not doing that. Um, we do the kitten method. So you use the backs of your wrists, the front of your wrists, sorry, the front of your wrists, and your elbow, so you your wrist, like a cat cleaning itself. So try to keep our hands, our fingers potentially, or mainly away from our face. If you have to scratch your face, uh, just use the uh, back of your wrist, and just use that. Uh, also, Clean your hands, that's a big thing. A little doggy down there. That's a huge thing here, um, is to clean your hands as much as possible. Wash it for about 20 seconds at least. It's very nice down here at the waterfront. Also, if you are washing hands with alcohol, usually 70 proof uh, hand alcohol sanitizer. Don't use just you know, grab a bottle of vodka and start throwing it on your hands. That's not going to work. It's at least 70 proof. Only wear a mask if you are sick. Because the mask is more to stop the spread. So if you are sick, do stay indoors. Don't go outside and spread it, potentially. If you do feel sick, have a really high fever. Coughing. Like a flu kind of symptoms. Do... Ring up and see a doctor. And if you do go to the doctors, do put a some kind of mask across your face so you don't spread it to the people around you. The uh, virus is not a huge concern for most of the population here in Cambodia because of the uh, Pol Pot regime. The majority of people in Cambodia uh, around the 45 year old under mark it's a very young population something horrible has actually strengthened these people slightly uh, the downside is the hospitals aren't very capable there's not many of them but on the upside there's not that many people over the age of 65 there's a lot of westerners but there's a lot of hospitals for Westerners also. Uh, the population of expats in Siem Reap isn't that high. Uh, the tourists have dried up nearly totally. It's, uh, I, I would say, still come. But things do change every single day. I've been trying to do this um, walk and talk for about a week now. Every time I start to do it, something change, changes. At the start of this, they were doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, said the uh, they even said that you couldn't get it if you're a Cambodian. That's uh, not here. Just total denial. Uh, it's changed 360 on its head. Um, the World Health Organization, um, I think, had a big discussion with the Cambodian government and uh, really said you have to do something, this is not a joke. But I do stress, do not panic. It's concerning. 
but if you do those the mantra wash your hands don't touch your face wear a mask if you're going to a place it's those that mantra that you're going to stick by uh, also uh, be careful like if someone is coughing get up walk away don't feel obliged to stand there or sit there it's about I think it's nine o'clock and it's the sun is brutal but I'll get around to the shade it's much nicer it's lovely this bridge at night just a little bit of decoration they have uh, closed schools here in Siem Reap for at least 14 days. Um, as soon as uh, the government started implementing measures for the virus, it has been open very good. Uh, they've stopped some of the celebrations of people uh, coming together uh, for the Cambodian. Sorry, it's very loud. I'll just bridge until I get outside. That's the uh, Royal... Oh, a little palace. I don't think we'll walk Oh, look at the bats. Can you see the bats? Look at them. Oh, fine everywhere. Yeah, don't eat bats either. Bad. Okay, it's much quieter down here. Uh, so the government has stepped up its uh, act with uh, a lot of uh, stations, you can wash your hands, sanitizers, that kind of stuff. Right. Um, when you go to uh, Macro, which is a big supermarket just out of town, um, they have someone who will spray down your um, shopping trolley or shopping cart, whatever you want to call it, and clean it for you. Uh, they also have a person to check your temperature I know it's not a full a foolproof way but it is something, a much bigger step up from nothing because that's what it was before Ugh. yeah the uh, tourist population here has dropped dramatically uh, they're saying uh, around 80 percent um, I as I was saying I do still think people should travel at the moment you get one life. You can either stay home, potentially get it, or travel, live your life, potentially get it, but still living your life. The uh, percentages of you actually catching and dying from the disease, if you're over 65 and you haven't got a, any health concerns, is extremely low. Extremely low. So... As long as you keep up that mantra of wash your hands, don't touch your face. If you're sick, put a mask on and see a doctor. Just stick to those things and you should be fine. Um, with uh, travel now, most airports will give you a, a check. There's actually a lot of um, confusion around going to Vietnam at the moment there's a big list up of people going through land borders of countries they won't let through even if you have been living in Siem Reap or living in Cambodia and you can prove that and you've got an Australian passport they won't let you through these land borders this is what's been on Facebook I myself I don't know if it's true or not but it has been reported by several people Australia is on that list. Uh, also, some airlines want you to get a doctor certificate 48 hours before you leave that you haven't got the coronavirus. So, I, I think that's totally over the top and unnecessary as the virus can take a certain amount of time to uh, show up but this is just one thing they're trying to do um, Cambodia is positioned 
to my very limited understanding that it's positioned quite well uh, to combat this as the population is under 45. Uh, I wouldn't think there'd be much problem with obesity here compared to the West. Uh, like heart conditions, high blood pressure. They're, they're very fit people. They, they work hard. They work very hard. Six days a week they work. They're very hard working people. I haven't seen too many overweight Cambodians. So I think health wise, they're right at the top of the pile due to the percentage of people over 65. The only problem is the hospitals and if they can take an influx of people. Then you have the other way that a lot of people self-medicate because it's too, they think it's too expensive to go to the doctors. So they probably may stay home. But well, these people may even spread the disease. But I think uh, as the population is quite young, that they should get through this quite easily. Uh, there's a lot of... Um... Hello. Hi. There's a lot of uh, campaigns going on from the government. Um trying to tell people, you know, wash their hands, don't touch your face, that kind of stuff. So the government is doing a lot to try and stop the situation, well, contain the situation. So I've rambled up, well, so rambled on quite a bit, but my take-homes are wash your hands, don't touch your face wear a mask also live your life but also don't be stupid if you're sick don't spread it wear a mask don't travel see a doctor if they want to quarantine your 14 days do it back in the sun I get a bit, I don't like speaking from coming towards people. I feel like a bit of an idiot. I'm not as comfortable as Dave is at walk and talks. But there's not that many tourists here. As you can see, I only passed probably four people. Uh, they are hurting quite badly from this whole virus. And even before there was a downturn in the numbers coming to Siem Reap in Cambodia due to the uh, large drop of Chinese tourists. I do recommend that you keep up to date on all the updates from your country. This is a very quick changing situation. In the last probably five days it's done a total 360 here. In Cambodia, from doesn't exist, we can't get it to, well, we, we have to do something to shutting down schools. If anyone does have any questions, uh, just leave in the comments down below. I'll try and answer best I can, but do look on uh, any of your country's health warnings or travel warnings of different places. Uh, Cambodia seems to be better if you fly into Cambodia than going out the, uh, the land crossings. Um, as well as that, if you've been to certain countries, they may want you to self-quarantine That's been brought up as well. But all in all, live your life. Don't be stupid. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. If you're sick, cover your mouth with a mask. Cover your face with a mask. 
and seek medical advice. Okay. Just the best for river here. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, down the bottom, as always, all the links of the other YouTubers, NCM Reap and Cambodia. I hope this has been helpful in some way for you to maybe ease some worries you've had. Because it is a stressful situation, it's such a time, a weird time to be in the world at the moment. Uh, if, if you are over 65 and have, have health conditions, don't travel. If you're under 65, have no health conditions, travel. But travel smart. Okay. Goodbye and see you in the next one.